backcourt. He's over midcourt with four. Hands it out front to Wallace with two. 25-footer for the win. Good! Panthers win. Panthers have the lead. It was one of the biggest comebacks in not only Eastern Illinois basketball history, but also NCAA Division I basketball history as EIU rallied from 27 points down with just under 12 minutes to play to beat Ohio Valley Conference leader Murray State. Nearly eight months later and following the end of the 2019-2020 basketball season and with a national pandemic on hand, we have a chance to finally revisit the dramatic win with a couple key players from that game. Welcome to today's show. We're joined by in the studio by Head basketball coach Jay Spoonauer, also some of the key players from that game, senior guards Josiah Wallace and Kayshawn Wallace. Sorry, Kayshawn Charles. You need to make more baskets, they get you. That's why I don't read off the teleprompter right there. We came in today wearing our masks. We are socially distanced here in, in the studio, as you can see. So, guys, like I said, welcome to the program. And we're going to jump right in with a couple of plays from that game. And, Coach, I'm going to have your comments on these. This was kind of a some plays you saw from Murray State where – Things just kind of looked like they were just going to go their way that night. You guys battling for the ball on the ground, guy just throws it up to the hoop and it just kind of goes in. Yeah, and you have those nights and the, so in, in this, obviously at this point, it felt like one of those. I don't know how much time we have here left, but it's, well, there you are, 11 and there's your score. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it ain't pretty. And it's uh, stuff like this, like, it's like, oh, like the last thing you need is for this to go in, but of course that goes in and it's like, all right, we have got to have to figure out how we can keep from getting beat 100 to 40. Uh, that's, that, that's what the idea was at that point. Now you talk about that, and, and at the end of the game, you see the final score, but I don't think people understand necessarily how you got there, maybe the time period in which that happens. We're gonna show a series of clips here, and this is a period of time where it really covers about five minutes, and there were 13 total points, and during this time, Kayshawn starts hitting a couple baskets, and he gets warm to kind of get the Panthers going. You can see you hit one in the corner there that, that really kind of started a slow run. It gets started with this, which, I, and you know, I know this. It didn't feel like the comeback was on, you know, because Kate Kayshawn hits that, and it's like, thank God, we, that needs to go in. They, we finally made one, but that's how. And then, so I, I, you know, the guys are going to talk about how all this stuff is going, but it, it really, it wasn't a comeback, and didn't feel like a comeback until about a minute to go in the game. To be honest with you, because even well, you're, you're going to see the the, you know, it's not even within reach until really, really late. Now you talk about that, Kayshawn, you hit a couple buckets there. You hit it off with the three there, hit another three here. Kind of what was that feeling? I know you're not thinking comeback at that time, but you're just trying to score points and, and kind of, you know, go within the flow of what you guys are doing. Well, honestly, I, honestly, I just wanted to keep playing. I just, like, I told Joe and I told everybody, like, let's just keep playing. Like, never know what can happen. Let's just keep playing. And, like, I hit this shot right here, boom. I don't know how much we know. You're probably still down like a dub, or 20 or more. There probably still go. down like 20, yeah, 20 but I'm just, I'm just like, let's keep plugging, let's keep playing. Like, let's just see what's going to happen. See, but that is the way to do it, though. You yeah. just keep going. Like, you, the, the last thing you want to do, I'm not sure any of us are really looking at the clock all that much or the scoreboard all that much because, really, guys can't. They have to play. We look at here, and this is kind of maybe a, a key moment in the time here. Skip takes the ball to the mm -hmm. basket, Jordan Skipper Brown gets rewarded with a couple of free throws. He's going to go to the line and knock both of these down. And with just over six minutes to play, it's the first time you guys are now under 20 points. Yeah, we're not going to get beat 100 to 40. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Skip. Yeah. I mean, that's a good move. Like, he loses that guy, you know? Yeah. And yeah. so you feel like, all right, it's still, I'm, I'm, you're always thinking you're, you're going to win. And at some point, you're like, okay, look. Obviously, nobody's saying, hey, we're shutting it down with 10 minutes to go. But, it, like, looking back on it now, it's like, man, it seems so crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's, a, it's one of those deals that they, the players just keep playing. And that's why him saying that, guys talk about that all the time. Like, let's, let, let's just keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's why. Because when you – nothing's going to – I guarantee you, nothing is going to work out well if you just shut her down. And when you look at that, you guys, kind of your, your thoughts on that, you're playing the league leader there. It's a Thursday night. You know two days later you've got the other league leader, Austin P coming in. What's the mentality there when you're down 27 points with, you know, 12 minutes to go? Uh, I just feel like with Murray, it's always a battle with Murray. So, like, 
uh, even since my sophomore year, we've been battling them, playing them, and then we've been playing them to either close games or games that's kind of out of reach. So either way, the game was kind of like a game we kind of expected. Like they're going to be tough. They're always tough. So just playing them and. Honestly, the score, when, it's, when we just started trimming down, trimming down, trimming down, we was down like about like 14. I'm like, we probably come back and win the game. Like, I'm not saying we would have, but I'm saying like, <laughs> let's just keep going and see what happens. And when it got down to three, it's like, all right, we probably can win this game. Now when it's tied, all right, let's see what happens now. For sure. Now when you guys do, we're going to show the next series of clips here. And yeah, you kind of clamps down a little bit on defense. We go over a 10 to 1 run here. Um, good defense by George Dixon during the time. Mack hits a three and Josiah gets a couple buckets during this kind of stretch and like you just said there you're under 20 with six minutes so you're feeling you know there's still a chance yeah I mean part of it is we weren't making any shots for the first 30 minutes of the game when I mean, we had 26 <laughs> points or whatever we had 23 points so when shots finally start falling it makes you feel a little bit better and I mean Mac this is what Mac does right here and I mean when you're making shots I mean everything looks a lot better when they're not falling it's it's rough it's a funny thing too how when when a shot goes in that's why like Kayshawn's shot is a big deal because that was a huge drought mm -hmm. and and it's like baseball when one team when guy one guy starts hitting it just sort of gets contagious and basketball is such a funny game that way bunch of good plays by and here, the thing you're going to see in this whole deal everybody at some point does something that they had to do or we don't win the game mm -hmm. and so like right there it's George you know that's a great rebound and they put back Kayshawn gets a thing going with that, but then you also had the move by Skip. You got that play by George. You got Mac hitting shots. There's a whole bunch of guys, and this does. You're like Kayshawn's right. This starts feeling pretty good. You're you're, you're you got it to 14. Okay, this is this is doable. Now you see here, Josiah's going to step back and hit a three. And at that time, I'm sure you're not. That's just kind of in the flow of what you're doing during right. the game and the flow of what what coach talked about there in the offense. But you're at three and a half minutes now. And you're within 12 points. This is actually striking distance under the four-minute media timeout. Right. I mean, this is the closest we had been almost since the game started. So we're feeling good that Keishon gets a good okay. steal here. Look at that. Passing lanes. Mm. <laughs> Passing lanes. <laughs> so we show this again here. You were ready. Look, yep. you were in a stance. <laughs> Scout. Look at that. And Passing lanes. In the past, Keishon would have dropped this off to nobody. Trying to get a lot. He wants a lot. He wants to dunk. He's wanting somebody to come so he can lob that so we can dunk it. But nobody was running. Everybody was too tired. So, and then this play here, Josiah drives down into the lane, and it's about with three minutes left here in the game. We're down 10. Murray yeah. State throws the ball out of bounds. And that's this when it's to the media yeah, timeout. That's whenever I thought yeah. we're about to win. But they did that like twice. Yeah. They did that like twice. And they just were, I think, mentally – almost just confused or like didn't know what was going on. Well, you guys have been on both sides of it too. Oh, like yeah. When it goes bad, it goes it's bad. a hard thing yeah. to get it flipped around. For sure. And it's all, you, when you start looking at the clock, this right here, when that happens, yeah. now it's eight and we are clapping and they are looking at each other and, it, and we've all been there. Right. Like they, to say that they could have done anything different or whatever, man, the, the people that say that have never been in that situation. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. So you look at the time and the score there. It's an eight-point game, 55-47, 234 left in the game. I don't remember if this was the turned out being the four-minute media timeout or if this ended up being Murray calling timeout after the ball went out of bounds. I think that was the media timeout. And so, I think so. So what are you telling the guys in the game at that timeout different than what it was earlier? Or is this the guys talking in there realizing that, hey, you know, we got, we got a shot? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure the last time out we were down by over 20. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I at this point I don't really recall exactly what it I was. But know. but now it's a legit deal. You're not. You're really not. You're not worrying about what happened in the last however many minutes. Yeah, right. You truly are looking up and saying, okay, it's 3:40 to go. It's down eight. It's our ball. We got it. it, it basically, you're talking about being efficient and you can't have any misplays. And so you're you. We got to have a bucket. We got to have whatever. Josiah wasn't in the game for a lot of that. Mm -mm. From you know, the I whole took time him K was scoring. I, I think I wasn't in, in the game that much. K had like eight points, and I went back in. And Kayshawn, I think I don't, we'll have to see who's who's in and who's out. But Kayshawn played through a lot of that, and then I, I took him out. Mm -hmm. Then he went uh, back in. And then he goes obviously goes yeah. back in at the end. But you know, I don't know. I don't remember what we did here. We'll have to see how how, how we made a bucket. But I know this: we we basically had to score every possession, and yeah. it felt like you had to get a stop every time. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how it turns out. So we're down eight in, in the, the world of the three-point basket nowadays. That's a three-possession game, but maybe in reality it's a four-possession game, right. stuff like that. So a bucket here coming up from Josiah. We'll show you the clip and then get your reaction. And this gets it down to six. And that 
is where I think people feel like you really have a chance when you're at six points with a couple minutes left in a, in a basketball game. Kayshawn had, uh, so you made the shot, you made the pull up, you made, you had the steal. So oh, this tough. is Joe's here to kind of bring it to there. And so you got George. This is right after the ball went out of bounds, yeah. right? Yep. This, this is what we drew up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Fade ace. We, we're looking to try to get that look right there. <laughs> So Josiah goes for there. Murray comes down after this, and they answer with a three. And this oh, is I the first bucket that. that Murray had had. They had been 0 for, 0 for 6 on their previous shots as you guys are getting back into it. I guess the reaction here is now all of a sudden it goes back to oh, from a six-point game to a nine-point game that we just talked about, that kind of – that number that's in your head mentally. I mean, usually that's like a – that's one of those shots that kills you. But, I mean, we just came down and we keep playing. There's the secret yep. right there. It, you're right. It, come, it does usually end it. But you got unless you come right back and put a cap on it. And so Josiah comes down, answers with that three. It's a minute 40 left to go in the game here. When you're coming down, I mean, is that what kind of your thought what coach said there? Like, hey, they, they, they answered. Mm -hmm. We need to score quick to kind of make sure that we have as much amount of time as right. possible to, to give us an opportunity. I mean, I don't know if that's what I was thinking. I was just kind of <laughs> reading the defense. I knew I had a ball screen coming, and he was – Tevin Brown was laying off a little bit, so I'm, we're down by nine with a minute 40. You got to take what they give you, so it went in. And you don't have time to run a bunch of stuff, right. like a, some, yeah. some place. You come down, you try to get a ball screen. If you can score off the ball screen, great. Or if you can create and get somebody an open look, that's what you're trying to get. So we're going to show the next sequence here, which is, is going to be three straight plays and kind of pivotal plays here as we're getting down in the crunch time, a minute and a half left of game, and you guys can feel that it's kind of palpable that, hey, look, Mm -hmm. This is within reach. This is going to be an exciting game to end. We're going to show this sequence and actually going to let you guys listen to the audio call of it, and then we'll get your reaction to it. Full court press by EIU. Dequan Smith inbounding it, and he calls timeout. Roll knocked away and stolen by Dixon to Max Smith. Mac coming over, hit the pounce ahead to Sharif. He laid it in. Four-point game. Minute two to go at the other end. Murray will dunk it as they got it out of there to Anthony Smith. He beat everybody down and got the dunk. So it's a six point lead for Murray. Here's Wallace driving all the way to the rack and he laid it in and got fouled. Count the bucket and Wallace will go for the three point play. The Panthers can make it a one possession game if he can sink the free throw with 53 seconds to go. This has just been an incredible comeback. I mean, we've seen good comebacks before but against a quality team like Murray this is remarkable all right Wallace with one shot Eastern behind by four if he makes it Panthers don't need to foul when they go to defense here's the Wallace free throw puts it up and it's in now we're going to talk over top of that you guys were kind of looking at those plays as we talked about it you're able to force them into a timeout there when you put on the full court press, something you really had maybe done earlier in the game as you're trying to get back into it, get the steal off of that. Here's the thing about this now. If Skip jumps, like a lot of time you say, oh, you know, you jump and you're going to get dunked on or whatever, you should go after it. If Skip jumps and fouls him, it's over. Yeah. yeah. It's over. If he does what everybody thinks is the right play, it's over. And Josiah passing up that three and taking it in, also, all these things had to go right or you don't win. And I, we always do this after games, but I love watching the bench. Like every individual guy will, will always stop it and we'll go, oh, look what he did or look what this guy did. And so like, the, you know, Kayshawn makes the shots, but then like he's, he's on the bench there cheering. Right. But all that stuff had to go right. And if Skip, foul, if Skip go, jumps up and gets a foul, game's over. Mm -hmm. If you probably shoot, if you shoot that three, maybe you make it and it's great. Right. But man, the decision to go at it's a huge deal. And the and one becomes imp important there. And, and the way the sequence of that game goes is because as you go to the free throw line, it ends up being a three for a two. And mm -hmm. so you end up getting that extra point that you need as you're doing the math here. Right. And, and now it's a one possession game as we're getting ready to play defense. Kind of thoughts on that as you drove? That, that's got to be one of the more pressure-filled free throws maybe you've ever shot in college. Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, I mean, it's pressure-filled. But at that point, I mean, we had nothing to lose. We were down by 27. So, <laughs> I mean, if I miss it, I miss it. You might as well make it and put your chance, you know, put yourself in a chance. You know, I think that's when you were like struggling to make free Yeah, throws. I mean, I'm, yeah. I think like the week before um, at UT Martin, I had missed like, I went like two for nine from the free throw line and missed two and they hit a game winner. So, I mean, it was a tough stretch, but I mean, it went in. So, now we're going to go through, we're going to play the, we're going to hear the audio again as, as we're looking at this kind of the, the key stretch in the game here. We come out, there's 40 seconds left in the game at this point in time down three, 
a big defensive series here that then leads to what ends up being the, the tying shot by Kayshawn. So we're going to show that, have you listen to the audio, and then we'll get your reaction to those. A three-pointer would tie the game. There's 40 seconds to go. Here's the three from the corner by Charles Bullseye. Kazan Charles is tied with 36 seconds to go. Murray's shot clock is six under the game clock here. Brown gets it over midcourt for Murray and sets it up. They, a tie game, 25 seconds to go, 17 to shoot for Murray State. Brown's got it out front. Crowd is roaring here at Lance Arena. Nine to shoot. Brown at center court. Now six to shoot. Brown behind the back, dribble drive down the lane, blocked out of bounds. It'll be Murray ball, but two on the shot clock. Eight and a half to go in the game. Two seconds on the yep, shot. So it ends up being eight seconds there. We, yeah, you, or Murray had turned the ball over there on the part that we didn't show there, which sets up this one. Look at the bench. Look at Come down and look how quickly <laughs> it drives down. And I know one of the things you're excited about there, Coach, is not only is Kayshawn happy about making the shot, but the excitement of everybody else that was on the bench, but still in the arena at that time. Yeah, there, there, there were some folks that, that weren't there, understandably. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the, uh, no, but the, you know, the fact that Kayshawn got back into the game, like, you know, I, you take him, he made all those shots, which <laughs> took him out. He's got to be thinking, what do I got to do to stay on the floor? And then that could have gone either way. And so yeah. then we show the play where they come down, Skip gets the block out of bounds on their first one. Like Joe, you just said here a second ago, there's two seconds left. They give it to Tevin Brown. That's kind of who you, I'm guessing you're going to assume is going to take the shot for them. Oh, yeah. And Mac mm -hmm. goes out and contests the shot about as good as you can without fouling in yeah. that situation. Yeah, and the referee stayed out of it. And that's, you know, I mean, that you, that's always a tricky, tricky deal. That's a – Mac did a good job shoot, staying down. He got, well, he got through the screen yeah. too. But, that, that you know, that's one of those that, man, you, you want to contest it, but, boy, you don't want to give, a, you know, give yourself a chance right. to foul. But, but that's, again, everything happened to go the way it is. But, yeah. no, I, I will that, – that, the, the – Getting fouled and, and making and ones is a huge deal because you, it allows the clock. You can set up a press. There's so many things that can happen, and you don't have to use timeouts. Mm -hmm. But get, it gets Kayshawn back in the game. And, like, right. so when, when we toss Kayshawn the ball and you're already jumping because yeah. you know he's going to make it <laughs> right. and everybody on the bench is jumping because they know yeah. the thing's going in. It's fun. Now, I don't know if you've seen that play before, Kayshawn. What, what was your reaction? You, you kidding you, me? You Kayshawn has watched that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been in quarantine for no, I, haven't, I, haven't really, I haven't watched it since, uh, since they uh, played it on ESPN, like, during the summer. But uh, when, uh, when I – like, actually, when I ran in, because usually I, I trail in, and people are losing me sometimes. So when I trail in, I can just hit three. So I trailed in, and they, like – I was just running. I'm just like – well, I don't know why. Oh, I was wide open. Like, pass me the ball. Joe kind of didn't see me at first. He thought I, I was – he really didn't see me. He didn't know I was going to be that open. It was almost so open. open like, it was like, like – it's like, how why is he, why is he that open? Right, so, he yeah. threw me the ball. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm well, gonna, and you've been sitting on the bench watching him shoot about eight shots in a row. you got to be thinking, this is probably going up to you. Yeah, so, I'm, so I, I run to the corner. I'm sitting there. I catch him. I'm like, all right, yeah, I got to make it. Right. So, what I mean. Corner yeah. K. Yeah, corner, well, literally. Corner, corner K. K. And at that time, you had – and I don't know if you knew this or not, but you had you, – you were three or five in the second half on three pointers. We showed the three in a row you made you made your last three of the game so you felt you probably had a had a hot hand when you were shooting there even though coach had put you on the bench for a few minutes oh yeah i get yeah i mean i mean as long as i can see the rim it's probably gonna go on, <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever not felt like you yeah, were well, exactly i know i mean like i just when i'm shooting honestly just shooting like when i'm shooting it's just like i just think it's gonna go in like i want to put it up i know it's gonna go up. if i like it if i like the shot he doesn't like the shot most of the shots he don't like but <laughs> if i like the shot i'm gonna put it up i want him shooting it from the mid i mean for sure as soon as he gets it for sure now what that ends up setting up after that defensive play we saw there for mac is it sets up what ends up being the game winning shot at the time so we're going to let you see the play and hear the audio on that and then we'll kind of get your reaction after the audio we're going to show you a couple different angles of it um, and kind of talk over top of that. So I'll let you guys listen and, and see the play here that ends up being the game winner. Trying to win the game here. Max Smith will inbound it. Gets it to Sharif Smith in the backcourt. He's over midcourt with four. Hands it out front to Wallace with two. 25-footer for the win. Good! Panthers win. Panthers have the lead. Well, you can tell that how exciting people were is uh, Mike, who's done games for probably 30 years. Mike thought we won on that shot, uh -huh. too. You could hear on his call there and then realizing there's still some time left that we ended up playing out. But... You guys just talked about that while you were listening to it. That that was kind of a set play you guys had for that time. Well, Reef does a good job getting out of the way. Yeah. Because if he runs into that guy, screen. even if you just even if you don't intend to or anything, it's a it's a foul on Sharif. But also it's funny. I think the whole bench thought the game was over too because Marvin was at half court before the ball even went in, uh, almost. So we were lucky. Um, the rest didn't 
blow their whistle. But yeah, I mean, we worked on that play. I mean, we would put that play in like middle of conference, and yeah. I don't know if we had ran it before then. But no, we never had really, never, because that was like a late game situation, so we yeah. never really needed to, never really had like, an opportunity to run it. Yeah, Marvin is all the way, Marvin's, <laughs> <laughs> he was all the way out past the, the amazing thing to me is that we had a timeout. Yeah. How, how are you down 27 and you have used <laughs> all your timeouts, but we still had a timeout left? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we were down by 27 with 12 minutes to go in the game, though, so I mean, we had the, we finally started making shots whenever the second part of the second half. Well, we, st we, you know, they trying to determine there had been other comebacks that were more that were there were more points. Uh, some pe teams have been down by 32, but they were down by 32 in the first half, or mm -hmm. whatever. and really no one had come back from that amount with that amount of time. And so that's why I just said it's the greatest comeback in the history of college yeah. basketball, and I'm right. Yeah, no one can refute that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't prove it to me any other way. So I don't that's know why if I'm gonna that, keep it'll ever happen again. I mean, yeah, it's... being down. 27 points with like 11:45. There, usually game's over. Right. Like, but you can't. Usually, the, like, if you look at it again, I don't know when you know if people rewind this and look at it, but it was like 22 with about six or yeah, seven. I mean, or yeah, so we, we were still, still down, down a lot. We didn't get down a lot of points. We didn't, get, we didn't like, get under 20 until 6:09 to play. Yeah. 6:09, it was still over 20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But every, all that stuff, like, again. Every little play of George getting rebound, like obviously the shots you hit, the, the shots, everybody remembers the shots. But man, like the pass that Mac makes to Sharif, and that's a hard finish that yeah. Sharif had to make. Yeah. He's a little guy going against the guys up slapping the glass. And, and the pass fits through just a, a tight small angle. Thing. Mm -hmm. you, that's why you don't see these kind of things happen very often because everything has to go your way. Yeah. On both ends of the court, too. I mean, we got turnovers and we weren't missing too many shots. And, I've been on the other side of maybe not something exactly like that, but it, but stuff like that when it starts going bad and it's it's not much fun. It's hard to turn around, and so it's it's one of those things that happens. But it's it's, it's, it's fun, man. We haven't had sports in a while. We need, this is why you need, you need to have stuff like. This. Now, coach, you mentioned it there. Statistically, for points coming back in the second half when you're down, 27 is the fifth most of all time. In terms of 27 that late in the game, it is the most. In the, the, the short, greatest the comeback greatest in the history of college the history. basketball. <laughs> there we go. That's what I said. And so the, however many hundreds of teams, there's 350-some teams, yeah. and then however many games that is, it's in the hundreds of thousands. Yeah. All those games. We're you all were one. right there. Yeah. You know, That's pretty the top. Neat. So you guys come back from that game, and that builds some, ends up building some momentum to end the rest of the season. I guess mm -hmm. kind of what did you take from that moment? I don't think what people realize is so you beat the co-league leader that night, you come back two days later and you play Austin P and you guys beat them in overtime and you had to be probably mentally drained. Yeah. That that right now is maybe the hardest road swing in, in the OVC and maybe in some conferences in the country. I mean, the thing for us, we had practice on Friday, more of just like a <laughs> shoot around. I mean, we didn't really know what to do <laughs> on Friday. So we were, <laughs> we were trying to figure out the balance between like being excited for what just happened, but then turn around knowing you gotta go play player of the year in our conference and one of the best teams in the conference and I mean we were down late in that game too and come back and win an OT so I think that what really helped us is that game kind of brought our team together I think a little bit and we started playing well together and really our energy was was up I mean a lot yeah we definitely started to mesh a little better and that was that and then honestly them two games was a great test sending us into the conference tournament mm -hmm. so like those two games you actually kind of needed like just to win those two games and just be ready and just understand what we got coming ahead next week that's kind of why, you know, we started, t we took you out with nine minutes or 10 minutes to go right. and you start, because you're playing in f less than 48 yeah. hours. And so you, you, you know, you're, you're saying, hey, we, let's get ready for Saturday. A little bit of it is that way. And then when you start to get back into it, but you're right, we were down 13, 13. with something, 10 yeah. minutes to go or something. Yeah. And I can remember saying in the timeout, hey, fellas, this is nothing. This is, we only right. have to play half as good as we played the other <laughs> right. night. I remember and we, that, and yeah. we can do this. And, and, but that's two, it's two really good teams who have they got the same teams this year yeah the exact same teams and you know anytime you anytime you beat both of those teams you've done something right and so um doesn't matter home away whatever but to have two comeback deals it's a wow. it, it, it at least shows because this is a basically a new group of guys yep. he was a returner and joe was a returner but a lot of those guys that you saw out there were not and so that it was a big deal that they let them know that they can they can beat teams we're going to get ready to wrap up the show here, but the final thing I'm going to ask each of you guys to do, and this may be hard, and Coach, I'll start with you, and I'll give the guys a chance to think about this, is if you can put what this win was meant, 
will be in you know 20 years from now when you think about this game give me one or two words that how you'll describe it to people well it's the best comeback in the history of college <laughs> <laughs> there you go you guys have something different you can go first <laughs> i mean honestly it, i don't no, like i agree with coach but i mean it's just incredible i mean going back when we're on the court it's hard to picture i mean you're looking at the scoreboard or whatever but you're just playing basketball out there and you're just trying to move on to the next play next play but when you sit down and all your friends are sending you sports center that night and <laughs> you're watching all the highlights it's like how in the world did this happen i mean it's it was crazy all right since, since they said speech i'm gonna just say two words all right. very unforgettable i'm gonna <laughs> go with good. that Definitely. very good since he asked me two words <laughs> well, hopefully you won't have to see the greatest comebacks of all time this year when basketball season does hit the court again. But we're going to air this show on WIU. We'd like to thank everybody here at the WIU studio for, for helping us put this program together. Also, like to thank head coach Jay Spoonauer. I'm going to get your names right this time. I didn't mix you up this time. Josiah Wallace, Kashan Charles, two of the seniors on this year's program. Thanks for joining us, everybody, here on WIU. Dixon gets it back on the block, pass it out in the corner to Charles for a three, hit it. Over to Sharif. He holds it with 13 to shoot. Ball goes right side, Charles up with a quick three and hit it. 58-49 in favor of Murray State with a minute 38 to go. Wallace trying to answer, does. Minute two to go at the other end. Murray will dunk it as they got it out of there to Anthony Smith. He beat everybody down and got the dunk. So it's a six point lead for Murray. Here's Wallace driving all the way to the rack, and he laid it in and got fouled. Down the bucket, and Wallace will go for the three-point play. A three-pointer would tie the game. There's 40 seconds to go. Here's the three from the corner by Charles Bozak. Trying to win the game here. Max Smith will inbound it. Gets it to Sharif Smith in the backcourt. He's over midcourt with four. Hands it out front to Wallace with two. 25-footer for the win. Good! Panthers win. Panthers have the lead. 